Greetings, Brick Maniacs, and welcome to another Designer Studio episode of Brick Mania TV. I'm joined today by Amanda. Hello. Um, who is a designer Brick Mania who is specializes in... Uh, I do... Oh, so much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, suddenly listing. Um, 3D printing, I accessories. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, animations when the time calls for it have, you know, yeah. once in a while nowadays. Uh, 3D rendering, minifigs has been kind of the main thing that I've been yeah. doing lately. So yeah, a lot of minifigs yeah, lately. A lot of minifigs, which minifigs. is super fun. Uh, right. They've been great. So we have right now. This is this is we're in that 30th anniversary of the Battle of Mogadishu. Um, so this was the first kit to be released of our sort of, you know, for us it's kind of a throwback because we've done this more than once over the last 10 years or so. Sure. More than 10 years, I think, that so we've been doing, you know. Commemorating, I want to say celebrating. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's, not, that's not the right word. Commemorating, uh, commemorating the, the the you know the the it's the Battle of Mogadishu. Um, you might know it as Black Hawk Black Down. Hawk, yeah. Um, but there, you know, there's so much going on in there that that yeah. There's a lot of parts of that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. yeah. So so we we did it this year. Um, we we and it, this was by by customer request. We brought back some of the favorites mm -hmm. of what we've done before. Um, so we basically have four weeks in a row of Black Hawk Down, for lack of better better term, yep. uh, releases. Um, this being the M1044 Humvee, um, which is the, the ubiquitous you know yeah, army yeah. vehicle that you know, military vehicle in the 90s. Even they still use them hugely in use today. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Things you learn every day. I learn something new. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they, they've been trying to the, the the army and marines have been trying to get rid of them, but they they. They just won't go away because sure. it's, it's so much more useful than a big old heavy armored vehicle. For, I mean, that makes sense. For our everyday use. So, yeah, If you watch the movie, which I'm sure most people have by now, uh, definitely see these guys all over the place in that movie. Right. Um, and this this kit came with two figures, which we'll get into in a second. Mm -hmm. um, and there, you have the option of buying f uh, extra um, Rangers. Mogadishu Rangers. Yep. So. Um, why don't we actually just talk about the, the figures right now? I mean, sure. Why don't well, we talk about these guys and then tell tell us what's the difference between these and the, the other Rangers? That... Yeah, definitely. Um, so these guys um, have the same torso and legs. Um, the biggest difference, obviously, skin color of the head is the big difference. Um, and they have the goggles on the helmet since they're in the vehicle. Um, we put a bump on top. Um, they've got radios since they're in the vehicle, um, doing a lot of that stuff. Um, Got some of the, the very classic uh, skater knee pads on these guys. <laughs> um, and of course the armored uh, vests yes. that are just like super iconic whenever you look up anything with them. Right. The, the, the the they're, they're wearing a desert camouflage uniform with uh, the forest yep. camouflage. Uh, yep. Uh, and uh, the chocolate chip uh, six color, I believe it's called, uh, helmet. Yes. Because they hadn't been upgraded yet. Right, right. So they're, they're coming basically out of, out of desert oh, yep. storm. Yeah. Uh, I believe they uh, referred to this as like coffee or tea spill or something like that. Oh, the, I can't, yeah, I can't the, remember the three, the, the three color. Yeah. Uh, because it is very light. It was kind of fun to work with our 3D, um, our UV print department to get those colors kind of honed in. So right. it took a little bit, but we got it. So this, is, this isn't this is just the old figure. This is a completely nope, new Nope, this is one. completely new, uh, ground up. Um, yeah, everything was uh, redrawn and uh, done to our kind of new... Uh, New style, new standard that we've been doing um, for the last couple of years. It's been kind of growing into this direction. Um, right. And, yeah. and, you know, I, th I think there's people that, that, that have nostalgia for the older Brickmania figures. Oh, definitely. And, and uh, you know, there's plenty of figures out there. There's tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of yeah. Brickmania figures out there. So um, if you prefer the old style, you're just going to have to get them on the secondary market because <laughs> we're not bringing back, you know, any of those old figures. We, yeah. we have moved on. This is all about progression, and I think yeah. you've really moved the ball forward. Oh, thank you. I, you know, I try to take cues from other designers in the office and stuff, and, and we've kind of all just pushed it to this way. And um, I think it, 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 it's obviously a little ways away from the tr traditional classic Lego, if you go look at Lego stuff. Um, but I think it, it fits with how detailed our kits are too. But even they, I mean, we we were just looking at the figures that came with this, this oh, that Rivendale set, yeah. and, they, and they are so much more detailed. Oh, than, they are. I would uh, agree. The, the classic Lego. No, look. That, yeah. they've even. I agree. They've definitely progressed a lot. <laughs> I think. I think you know that we're not only watching ourselves progress; they're watching us progress and needing, feeling the need that they need to up their uh, minifig game as well. So. I mean that. I yeah, I would agree. So, 100%. yeah. So because of us, you have better Lego sets. 
<laughs> no, we don't, can't take credit for that, but we, I, we I like would, to think we are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the uh, the AFL communities in general have pushed the hobby so far, and we are definitely a large part of that push. So right. I, I would agree. And if you don't know what AFOL oh, is, it's point. adult fan of Lego. So nobody's taking the time to explain that to you. So yeah. being Florida Dan, I'm going to Dan explain it to you. Adult <laughs> fan of Lego is AFOL. Yep. You know, he's right. I love it. I think that's a great little, uh, there's your learning moment. Yeah, Another yeah. one. I love it. <laughs> if nobody stopped to explain it to you, you'd be completely in the dark. You'd have to be really embarrassed and go into dark Google. mode and then Google it with, so they can't track your IP so nobody can laugh at you. What either. does this mean? Yeah. I mean, I think that's fair. It took me a while to figure out what they, I thought they were calling each other a bad word for a little bit there, to be honest oh, with you. Oh, some of them they are. <laughs> so, especially if you're a vendor like us. So, oh, there you go. All right. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, the, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's those are the minifigs. You when you bought this kit, you had the option of buying the, the ranger, additional yeah. rangers, which are actually going to be dropping the same time that this is. So mm -hmm. if if you didn't buy the Humvee, you still have a chance to buy the regular rangers. Yes. What is the difference between? Them? Um, so a few differences on the loadout. Um, they don't have the walkie-talkie uh, goggled uh, face. Uh, obviously, they're running out and about. Um, yeah, they're not going to be. They're not going to be tethered to a, yeah, a, a, ra a, exactly. a corded radio. Yep, and uh, uh, they have uh, their new perfect caliber weapon as well for that. Right? Nice. So that's what. That's the M M M sixteen A two. Yeah. Yes. That without that, grenade launcher. That's Brick Arms. Will Will from Brick Arms was nice enough to make just for us. Mm -hmm. But then again, of course, um, it's not. It's not exclusive to Brick Mania. But he was. It was sort of our urging to get it done, and, and now. Throughout the the Brick Arms diaspora, you can now get the <laughs> M16A2 without a grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. So you have some other ones coming that would be yeah, would be, oh, would yeah, be a good yeah, yeah. a good maybe another video that we could go Definitely. into all of the different It'd new be fun figures. To show them all off, yeah. yeah, so there are some new variants of the Rangers. Kind of what are those variants? Just for because this is yeah, oh, people definitely. people Might don't well. even know at this point That's don't know true. that there's That's more true. more in store. Uh, so we have uh, Grenadier. Um, with you know the awesome multi pouch, so like 30, 30 so grenade pouches grenade or something pouches. like that. Yeah, he looks like a porcupine. Oh it? yeah, it's great. Uh, that was a fun one. Um, and then and he come, does he come with a perfect caliber grenade launcher, or is it the yeah. oh it's the M sixteen with the grenade yeah. launcher, the yep. GL, yep. which we already have a perfect caliber. Yep. Of. Uh, so that's an old one, but it's a good one. It looks great. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, the last one for this is uh, the saw gunner. Yeah. So oh. these are standalones. These aren't like kid exclusives yes. or anything. So there'll be a standalone grenadier yep. and a standalone saw gunner. So they'll have different loadouts. Yep. Yep. So, so the big, uh, the giant pouches for the saw gunner obviously has the saw gun. Yeah. So I, I just we we just did a video like a, a sit rep on this, and I, I kind of, this is going to be kind of repetitive if you just watch the sit rep because for whatever reason we decided Andreas and I decided to go over all the, the features of the Humvee, but here we're going to do it again for you. Sure. So. In fast motion, we're going to slow this down. Wait, speed this up. Uh, so, never mind. Uh, we have a rotating turret, uh, characteristic of all the different Humvee models we've done. Very stripped down, no armor box. Um, you can fit a, a, a minifig down inside that turret. In fact, you can take the roof off of this, this Humvee and fit four minifigs inside the Humvee without any problem whatsoever. Nice. Um, let, me, let me actually demonstrate how that's done. So, turret comes right off. The roof is a handy dandy single piece. Maybe you can get it to come out. There we go. So you can put your guys down in here uh, very easily. Four guys will fit down there. And if you're having issues, you can just pop this, the, the, the door rails, is what I call them, uh, off. You can fit your guys down inside. Um, there is enough room inside of this, the front to back on this uh, Humvee, that you can put the guys with the, the brick arms plate carriers in here, Oh, too, wow. Because they have that stud that. on the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. makes it hard to stick into a lot of vehicles. Mm -hmm. But this was actually specially designed, specifically designed, so that that stud awesome. has a place to go in front and back seat. So you can have your guys in the front and the back seat. I think you have to put the arm down in the middle here. Yeah. So it gets under that turret. <laughs> so um, maybe I should open the doors, and it would demonstrate a little bit better that... You can see inside there, but oh, they, excellent. if we had if we had a plate carrier on, it would fit right in there, no problem. Oh, that's uh, great because so often you have to pull all that off if you want them in there. Right, right, and then you can also even with the guys in there, you can still put the guy in the turret and it'll still spin around without hitting. Oh, so that's great. So you can great. have four guys <laughs> inside and one on top, and you can recreate your favorite mo movie there is, moments. Yeah, I just I don't know if I realized how much room there was in there. Oh, it's you know, it's spacey. It's roomy. it is. There's a reason why Arnold Schwarzenegger has one of these. <laughs> he's a big dude. All those muscles got to go somewhere. Right. Anyway, you have two opening hatch. The, the hatchback opens mm -hmm. up, and then you have a tailgate. Um, 
so you can you can fit your your precious cargo in the back, water water bottles and yeah. stud lights and and whatnot. And then of course you have access to the engine compartment. Sure. So Great. four opening doors, opening hatchback opening tailgate and opening hood, hood. so if you wanted to like you know you had a bullet hole in your radiator you needed to pat you know patch yeah. up you have access to do that it also gives a lot of options for if you're making a mock i mean there's a lot that gives you a lot more things you can have the minifigs doing yeah yeah great oh uh, and it is a pretty stripped down you know humvee model overall mm -hmm. compared to like some of the more fancy ones that we've done you know or you know sure. before and after this um get it all put it sounds back like together. they use them a lot still so it makes sense they're... yeah yeah i mean they're not put sending them into combat you know particularly because they're they're not very well armored mm, sure, uh, sure. especially not uh uh suitable to be riding in terrain there's there's possible landmines and ieds yeah uh, okay. with the flat sense. bottom as, as they have it but mm -hmm. they are uh you know everywhere ubiquitously useful by all you know armed forces around the world all different branches use them um, even even the Navy has Humvees. Really? Yes. That one I didn't have yes. any clue about. Yes, okay. the Navy has Humvees. I don't know. Maybe maybe the Coast Guard doesn't. Somebody somebody mm -hmm. some somebody in the Coast Guard could correct me if I'm wrong. But I might have just been looking at a lot of Coast Guard pictures, and I don't know if I noticed one. A Humvee. Yeah. Well, you were looking at them when they were on boats. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, hint at what's coming next week. Anyway. I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so there you have it. This is the M1044. Uh, I guess 30th anniversary mm -hmm. of the Battle of Mogadishu edition. I don't know if we say that on the box anywhere, but that's what we call it. I don't know if we do um, it in, in within the organization of Brickmania to refer to this particular one. Uh, it's one of, I believe, four Humvees that we have in production right now. So Sounds about right. It's not the first one, and it's certainly not going to be the last one, no. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Humvees are great. They're so, great space fillers on mocks. So we'll come back shortly. Um, in an upcoming episode, we'll talk about all the, we'll grab, gather all the Mogadishu figures. You did all of the figures yep, for this series. The so whole gamut was that, all me. <laughs> that's kind of an unusual. We've had a lot yeah. of bouncing back and forth between, you know, the different staff members making figures. But I think you've done, it's been a marathon. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this is this has definitely been a long, uh, like the full last, I don't know, quite a while now that has all been me. So yeah, it, uh, it's been good though. It, it helps to be able to kind of, have my own stuff where I'm like, I know which fig that came from. Right, so. right. It's good. Yeah, and I don't have to ask questions. It's no, it's right to the end. Who did this figure? I don't know. I, now I know. So, so I appreciate it. And uh, these right. great looking Thank figures. You. Thank uh, you. Slam did not decline. He want, you know, we didn't want to talk. He, there wasn't enough <laughs> sure. prints, I guess, to talk about. And, um, so he, he declined our, our invitation for a a jumbo three, three, three way. Three, 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 <laughs> three way. Three of so, three. So well, yeah, we'll be we'll be back one on one with Slam in the future. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, thank you Wonderful. for yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no. I'm just I'm just let's end this. Let's put it. Let's put let's, let's it. put the viewers out of their misery. Get the we'll, hook out. We'll see you on a future sit uh, sit rep or designer studio. Thanks for watching. <laughs>